Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Just uh, went to the farm here this morning. It's uh, January 1st, so uh, Happy New Year to all of you watching. It's, uh, it's been pretty cold here the last couple days. It was negative 22 Fahrenheit this morning. I think that's around negative 30 Celsius. And, uh, with the wind, the wind chill temper, the feels like temperature is negative 50 this morning. It's definitely feeling pretty chilly. We've seen colder, but this, yeah, this is definitely cold, cold weather. Uh, looks like it's gonna be cold here for the next couple days and then warms up just a little and then cold again for another three or four days it's uh, I don't mind the cold but after a couple days you start to get tired of it but we've we've definitely seen a lot colder than this I think at, at one time in Canada it was negative uh, 45 Celsius without the wind chill so it can definitely get a lot colder than it's than it is right now, and we can get it can get cold like that here too. I'm just, I don't recall getting down to negative 45, but I think we've seen some negative 40s here once, maybe once or twice. Uh, yeah, definitely very cold. Looks like the both milk trucks are here. Looks like one's loaded. He's probably just about done loading, and the second one here is waiting just. To, to come in behind them and load up. It's so later on in the day here. Uh, just finished servicing this uh, S76 area. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. We've been cleaning the alleys in our heifer barn with that skid steer. Usually we don't do that, but we've got a 450 that's uh, had some engine issues. So that's in town getting worked on. And when I was uh, changing oil on that skid steer there, I noticed that my dad I uh, got out of his skits here with it sitting in the middle of the yard. There he goes. My dad got out of his skits here in the middle of the yard and started walking towards the shop. So I figured there was probably something going on with this one too. So I just quit running right where it's sitting now. Uh, tried to start it a few times, wouldn't do anything. It's showing low voltage. Hopefully it's uh, alternator or battery, but I have a feeling it's something engine related got the cables on it right now I'm gonna give it a little bit try to start it otherwise we're gonna have to pull it inside the shop I guess sun's out now but it's still pretty cold I think it's still about 10 below Fahrenheit but not much wind right now and the sun's out so it actually doesn't feel too bad usually when it gets cold like this you can expect to have some issues typically doors equipment like we have here i don't know if much don't think that this is really cold related but it could be i guess uh, issues with manure pumps manure augers things tend to break when it's really cold out just not made to handle especially when we have quite a few cold days like we've had here the last few it's just hard on everything There goes my dad in the tow hammer. He's just putting bales ready for tomorrow's feeding. He usually does that uh, every afternoon. That way it's ready to go in the morning. So we called our dealer to see if he'd had half time to come and check it out. It is uh, January 1st, so they weren't open, but we, uh, our Bobcat's coming from a local dealer in town here and he's pretty good about uh, keeping us up and going, coming out when we need him to come out, even if they're not open, if it's weekends, holidays, whatever. If he's around he'll come out so he's he's gonna be here shortly we'll uh, probably leave the cables on there till then and probably try to start it when he gets here and see what it does it's the next day here we uh, weren't able to get that skid steer going yesterday so we uh, pull it over into our shop we'll uh, he's probably gonna work on it next week here to see if he can figure out what the problem was with that uh, by our uh, calf hutches here today it's uh, quite a bit of a nicer day today. It uh, was cold this morning, but it's warmed up quite a bit. And we got some nice days here the next few days. So our calves go into a barn for the first month or so. And then after that, they go into a hutch like this for about uh, two months. Well, about a month and a half, and then about a half a month in a group hutch. 
and then they go into our heifer barn that you've seen before. So there, uh, I put straw and uh, cleaned some of the snow out of the hutches that we're moving calves into this morning. And a couple of our guys, Alfredo and uh, Christian, are moving the calves into the hutches now. These these ones at the end here, these last eight, they just moved out and then they moved to the next line. So we move our when we move our calves from the barn to these hutches. We use our four wheeler and a little wagon. We pull behind it. Here they're they're coming right here. These calves were just moved in here now. You can see when it gets cold, we get quite a bit of frost here on the side of the barn walls. That'll probably all melt today or tomorrow. So in our calf barn we have room for about uh, 140, 150 calves and we'll move them out in a quarter so we're just moving out a group of uh, 36 here today. Uh, we, uh, we usually like to leave about half or at least a quarter or half the barn empty to uh, prevent disease from being spread from one calf to another when it's cold like it was here the last few days we keep them in there a little bit longer. So we used to always put our calves into hutches like this right away, right after birth. But it was uh, when it got really cold, it was uh, uh, a struggle for our employees and our calves. They're just too young at that age to go into a hutch. With uh, I mean, we put jackets on them, and we still do that. But at that point, they're just too young when it gets uh, 30 below to be able to drink enough milk to keep their bodies warm. So we built a barn here a few years ago and I will head over there in a little bit and show you what that looks like but they go into a barn for about a month and then they'll go into a hutch like this when they're when they're this age they they do really well in these hutches we don't have to worry about them being cold in here because they at, at this point they get quite a bit of milk and they're drinking quite a bit of milk and they'll also get fresh uh, feed pelleted feed textured feed I guess it is and then warm water twice a day so I'm in our calf barn now this first uh, smaller room here is where our calves move into when they're just born so then they go into a, a stall like this this one was born here today this morning this room here is a heated floor so in the winter time we keep them in here for a couple days before they go into the barn and in the summertime for just a day just to, enough to let them dry off and warm up and then we'll move them into our barn. So this is our calf barn. Come on Ramsey. So our calves go into pens like this right after birth or about a couple days after I guess and they get a jacket on like these have on here and then we feed milk out of pails and they get feed and water in the winter time we uh, give them warm water so we dump that water out and give them warm water this barn is uh, it keeps them out of the wind and out of the snow but it's not heated so it does freeze in this barn 
we do have uh, ventilation tubes up there so we're, we're always blowing cold air fresh air into this barn and we we keep those running pretty much all year round they shut off when it gets about uh zero negative 10 in this barn which it has to get pretty cold outside for it to drop that low in here so so this whole side of this barn is full of calves now and we just started filling this side with calves so newborns are coming in on that side so this this is what it looks like without a calf there's we uh put lime down underneath for bacteria and then we put straw in here and we'll move uh we'll just keep going down the line as calves are born we keep moving them in in this barn and then this this quarter here we're moving out today you can see there got a few left to move here at the end so we bed with straw in here and when it gets cold like it's been the last couple days we bed off we bed off them to make sure the calves are in deep uh, straw to keep it warm so it's just these last six here that they still have to move out to the hutches and then these on this side they're not quite a month old yet but these will be moved out then next so we basically go around and around in this barn and well if we can we clean with the pressure washer but since uh, this barn is not heated when it gets really cold we won't clean with the pressure washer we'll just put lime down it uh would prefer to clean it with the pressure washer obviously but if it's cold like uh, it's been here the last few days it's not always possible so there was a question in the last video about uh if we raise some of our beef calves so for the most part no but we we will raise some of them so these this calf right here this is actually a hundred percent angus calf same with this one here right next to it so something we've been trying here the last uh, year and a half or so i guess it's already been so uh, putting 100 percent angus embryos into our holstein cows and the theory is that we'd uh get a 100% Angus calf so we will raise these beef calves up until about five six months of age and then we'll uh, sell them and they'll go to uh, a rancher or somebody that raises beef cattle basically uh, there's probably enough there for a whole video so I won't talk too much about that but we've got some so we've got some 100% Angus calves and then we also have uh, crossbred calves so limousine Holstein cross and some Angus Holstein cross also those uh, get sold pretty much uh, within a weeks of uh, of them being born and they'll also go for beef but I'll talk a little bit more about that in another video that'll probably be it for today's video uh, I'd like to kind of show you guys a little bit more of the layout of the farm or kind of show you you know from barn to barn so you have, you know, so it's easier to follow along. So you kind of know if I'm showing you something where we're at on the farm. I'd prefer to do it when it's nice outside, so we're not looking at snow or we're looking at fog in the barn if it's really cold like it has been. But if uh, if you guys like, I could do that here if we get some uh, decent uh, warmer temperatures in January or February, beginning of February, or I can do both. Do one do one now and then maybe uh, in the summer when things look a little bit uh, nicer other than yeah just looking at all this white stuff uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments uh, if you'd like to if you'd like me to give you guys kind of a, a tour of the farm or if you'd prefer to wait till it looks a little bit nicer out but yeah that'll be uh, that'll be it for this video hope you guys have a good new year I'm pretty excited about the new year. I think it's going to be a good year. So uh, I hope it is for all of you also. Uh, hope to see you uh, next week. Or if you guys have questions, maybe we'll make another video this weekend. Thanks for watching.